So, uh, yeah, just use your movement uh, in and out, in and out, and then punish whenever they try to commit to something. But we have another match. We do indeed. It's Mufobia versus FX DFW Zone. Ham Yojo. And this is going to be the other side of Winner Simmies, I assume so. Yeah, I don't yeah. You know, honestly I don't see either of these players uh, being knocked out by anyone this early. Yeah. Both are definitely very solid. Ham Yojo, known in the past for playing a great Yoshi, has recently made the switch to uh to Sheik. I don't even know if it's necessarily a switch as it is just he's just having fun playing other characters. Oh, oh. unfortunate. He uses the side be a little too low there. And because of that, he's not able to grab the edge. And a lot of that had to do with the acupuncture that Ham Yojo just inflicted on him. He was spamming the side B, ends up getting tagged with the needle, oh. and then uh, ends up using the side B uh, during that spamming moment. Yeah, Myojo on that 360 no-scope with those needles. I love it. Oh. Ooh, good forward smash there. That is a classic folly of new Sheiks. Whenever you are a Sheik, the most important thing is that whenever you're doing your up B, that you up B away from the stage. You have to up B uh, towards the blast zone. Um, initially, because you actually have a, a circle of influence where you get to move around in yeah, that circle you're right. before the, 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 vanish the, the vanish happens. So you go away from the stage. Because if you don't uh, go away from the stage, then you only have one direction, and that is just straight up. And oh. then if they just hold on to the ledge, you're done. So you have to go away. That way you can angle on. Oh, beautiful stuff there by Mufobi. He definitely has a lot of momentum in this game. Did you see how much pressure he was putting on earlier? I was too busy describing. <laughs> that took too many words. I Little hope you all understand. I, do, oh. I totally get it. Good we'll, we'll point it out if he does it in, yeah. in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Trying to play really patiently, waiting yep. for Hamilton to make a, a push on. Oh, baby brother bullet. Unfortunate. One thing you gotta be careful of, you never wanna do any unnecessary movements whenever you're on the ledge. Uh, the more movement that you do on the ledge, the more chance you have of messing up. Uh, you see this a lot with really great players, like top players in the world will still suicide because they've decided to do way too many stalls. Yeah. Uh, way too many. They decide to wave land on stage whenever they don't need to, uh, and then they end up suiciding. You know, that kind of makes me think about a business concept actually called Six Sigma. And the concept is that if you have a process that takes 20 steps, and each step you have 99% accuracy. Yeah. The end accuracy of whatever you create will not be 99%. Correct. Because there is a at least a percent of difference. Yep. Exactly. Uh, a percent of error for every single step there. It would be 99. It would essentially be 0.99 to the 20th power. Yes. And that is the percentage of everything. Working. You know your math. Oh, of course. I have a master's. Ah. Yeah. Nice, dude. Learn a little bit more every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. excellent grab. Forces Mufobia back on stage. Oh! Not, not quite enough good at DI there from Hemyojo. Oh, gets caught by the vanish. That's the, I think that might have been the second time. Oh, time. oh, no. That's good. terrible. That was a finger flub. I thought he was going for some disrespect there. All right. Really, Hemyojo, all he really needs is just one back air, oh, one no. fair. One yeah, down tilt will do it as well. Hemyojo taking that with a great two-stock victory. Yeah, that was really good by Hemyojo. Uh, his Sheik's coming along. It is. He's got, got some rough edges, but uh, it's still doing work. It really is. And a lot of it also does come into come. In my, something that comes to mind is the practice he had with Yoshi. What kind of things he learned from playing Yoshi. Yeah. His platform oh game is God. so solid. The way that he maneuvers around the platforms is just really good. And you can see some of that actually transferring over to the movement in his Sheik. Yeah. Oh. I just need to point out how much damage Mufobia did to Ham Yojo in approximately 10 seconds. It was 71%. Yeah, Mufobia definitely has a lot of really great combos, but it comes down to something that you said in the match before. Players like Mufobia are definitely really good at inflicting a lot of damage, but something that Ham Yojo is really good at is getting in oh! the hits that matter. Oh! Almost got the snipe from that needle. Yeah, it's the critical points, man. In, in any game, all you have to do is determine critical points, and if every single time you can put your opponent oh. in a critical point, 
and then take advantage of it and win it, then you will always win. In this game, critical points are edge hogging. Note right oh. there, right? He was he was against the stage. The only place he has to go is up. He cannot choose anything else. And if he had pulled away instead, he could have gone diagonally and gotten on the platform. Are using the needle. Oh, oh wow! Hits the edge hog that time. Good stuff by Mufobia. He's up a stock, but here comes Hamiojo. Off stage, there's a gimp opportunity. Excellent. Oh, oh that was there. good. Oh, able to make it back. Barely. Good stuff. I would have actually gone with... Uh, no, no, no. Nair was the right decision. He just needed to grab the ledge. <laughs> what did he say? He yelled, I suck. Oh, he flubbed. Okay. He's talking to the commentators. It's all good. All right. He's going He's going back to holding the ledge. Got to be careful. Yeah, especially with Randall there. One bad input. All right. Oh, power, double power shield. Okay. Let's go. Move. I'm feeling it. Jab. Oh, unsafe jab. Go for uh, full hops there. Interesting. Oh, I like the narrow shield. And Mufobia is... Oh! He read way too far in that book. Yeah, yeah. He skipped a couple chapters there. Yeah. Go down there. Another one? Oh, no. Tries to go for the shine back air instead. Oh, excellent stuff by him, Yo Joe. He's going to wait. Tries to get the back air. Oh, good down smash there. Yeah. So, definitely a solid option whenever you're that close to the edge. Yeah. All right, he's going to use this to wait off the invulnerability. And now he just needs to get down. Uh, one of the things to be concerned with with Sheik, it doesn't really have very much uh, air mobility. All you really have is uh, gr a lot of ground mobility. But the second you actually jump in the air, you don't really move very quickly. You can, you can jump a little high. But uh, move to the side. Yeah, horizontal distance is at a minimum. Yeah. Uh, so it's best to use most of your your. Uh, Ooh, get... Oh, oh! I wanted it. Ends up grabbing the ledge. That was close. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> I got I got distracted. Oh by that, no, this by is good. Game. Oh, good, good stuff. Oh, oh excellent dude. stuff. Oh. oh, and ends up missing the last hit. That's so all close. he needed. Oh, another opportunity for him, Yojo. Oh man. Mufobia ended up going really low for that one. Did not want to. Oh. Uh, excellent stuff. Excellent Unfortunate stuff. finger flub there, but good coverage there by Hamyojo. Mufobia really needs to close this out. Hamyojo's trying to essentially bait Mufobia into coming to the edge, probably oh, yeah. for a grab into oh, yeah. a back throw to get get Mufobia off of the stage. Oh! Should have gone. I, I should have gone for the cloud. Well, no, I think Mufobia had enough presence to be able to no. know. No to drop back air for that. It's true. Yeah. So okay, that was good game two. He actually the only the reason why he won uh there are headphones right there. And Yoja right now has to blow his nose. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, I am witnessing this is Yojo be blowing his nose. Go Rose. I, I am really wishing that I, I am didn't. actually seeing a faucet being turned on. It it's is just so <sighs> gross. It is so gross. He is looking like he just saw a pretty girl in an anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So it's going to be a game number three. It's going to be on Battlefield. Oh, this is definitely one of Hamilton's favorite stages, uh, especially whenever he was playing Yoshi. He had a lot of great movement with the yeah. platforms, and we're going to be seeing that carrying over on this stage as well. well. But let's not forget that this is also a solid Falco stage as well. The platform yeah. is definitely allowing you to continue your pillars, as we're seeing right now. Oh! Oh, and this is a repeat of the second game. Him, Yojo, you could argue, won, or uh, Mufobia won the first game, or the second game, you could argue, because of that tremendous 71% combo he got on the first stock. Uh, and so now you see here, he got an insane combo once again, forcing him, Yojo, to come from behind and uh, really have to pull together to take a stock, get, get a freaking edge guard, get something going. Oh, he's really trying right now. Oh, delayed wake up there by Mufobia. Just trying to trip up Hamiljo a bit. Excellent air dodge. Oh, he read, but he just did the up tilt a bit too early. 
Good power shield there by Hayam Yojo. Oh, oh I love I love that jump needle. He knew exactly where he was. See right there? He was a little bit further away from the stage. And allows him more options to choose from. Yeah, because now he needs to now Mufobia as a player needs to decide, okay, is Ham Yojo gonna be going to the platform? Is he gonna be going straight for the stage? Is he gonna be going for the edge? Yeah. What do I need to cover? Versus yeah, he, before, like you mentioned before, when he was just low, all he could go was just straight up. Yeah. yeah. All right, three stocks to two. Hamio just still has a little bit of work to pull off. And it's definitely not going to be easy to close that gap, especially considering that he's playing against Mufobia, a player who we've seen put on massive amounts of damage whenever yeah. he gets those pillars started. And, you know, a lot of it is really just boiling down to the fact that he's not really get. Oh, that was a good trick. I don't know if he intended that. But if you do the upbeat close enough to the ledge, you can angle it such that it looks like you're going to angle on the platform. But instead, you clip the ledge and grab onto the ledge instead. Cheek tech. The more you know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, Ham Yojo can come back. But he's going to have to get a couple gimps. He's going to have to force Mufobia towards the ledge. Oh. And go, oh, man, this is rough. It's looking very grim. Oh, there's the recovery mix-up. Sit down there. Oh, he got the read once again. Missed oh. it a little bit. Really try to get that forward air gimp. Excellent stuff by him, Yojo. Mufobia almost gets the kill. That's it. Oh, That's it. That's beautiful it. back air there by Mufobia. Good stuff on him. You know, I, mean, yeah. I have to give him props. He, he had great movement as always, but Mufobia, such a dominant player with yeah. those really intense combos, able to take that set 2-1 over Hamyojo. That was ridiculous.